The little greys are not what people think they are. They are robotic creatures. I called them a ro robot one time, and they said, it's not exactly a robot, it is a biologically created being. And you know, if we get around to making robots, we're going to make them look just like little humans. They, they, the, minor, the smaller version of the tall gray scientists that are on the laboratory craft, right? Uh, when they travel, they travel by shifting their vibrations and frequencies. All they have to do is raise the vibration of the craft. It's like watching a fan blade or a propeller on a plane. When it speeds up, it becomes invisible. That's what happens with them. When they speed up the vibration and frequency of the craft, it will disappear into the other dimension. People have reported seeing a light in the sky will suddenly blink out. And other times they'll see one just appear. That's when they slow down the vibration to come into our atmosphere. This is very hard on them. They don't like to be in our density. This is a very low, dense vibration. They would rather stay out of our atmosphere. So when they have to send the, the beings down to do the samplings and the testing on the humans and take them, they will always come in the small craft and you will usually see the little uh, gray beings. The little gray beings have been created to withstand the density of the earth, the heaviness. And that's all they are. To me, they're like, I call them gophers. They're the ones that just do the chores and do what they're supposed to do and take the things back because it's too hard on their bodies to enter our dimension.